and with Allah he says Allah can tell lies and he has power to tell lies so there he didn't want to associate impurity on his mother and here he associates impurity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling lies, doing bad is impurity rajas and Allah says فَمَنْ أَزْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ فَهُوَ يُدْعَى إِلَى الْإِسْلَامِ Anybody who suggests that Allah tells lies, he is out of the fold of Islam. So therefore, the issue of telling lies is something that renders us a non-Muslim. As far as the power, yes, Allah has power to do anything, but we do not associate His pure power with an impure act such as telling lies. The rule is, you don't associate pure with impure. If that is the case, then the whole world could not operate because pure must be kept pure and impure must be kept impure. So therefore, this issue will render anybody out of the fold of Islam if anybody who says that Allah has lied or has the facility to tell lies. Why? Because Allah clearly says, وَمَنْ أَزْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ وَهُوَ يُدْعَى إِلَى الْإِسْلَامِ My uh, fifth grandfather, uh, fifth grandfather, Yeni Munazri Azim, Mawlana Muhammad Umar Sahib Shubhi Ramatullahi, his uh, great, great grandfather, he uh, did Munazra, his great grandfather, he did Munazra with uh, Rashid Ahmad Gangoi and um, uh, uh, Khalil Ahmad Mbetwi. And this was the first Munazra even before Mawlana Ahmad Raza Khan Bilalmi Rahmatullahi, Imam Ahl Sunnah. And he wrote a book on this Munazra, and the name of that book is still available, you can see in your bookshops. The name of that book is Taqdeesul Vakil and Raddir Rashid Wal Khalil. He did this Munazra, and Allah has that Imam Ahl Sunnah, Mawlana Ahmad Raza Khan Bilalmi Rahmatullahi, wrote in his book that before me, Hazrat Khaja Ghulam Dastaghi Siddiqui Rahmatullah Alayhi He did Munazra with Rashid Ahmad Ambetri and Khalil um, uh, 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 Rashid Ahmad Gangoi and Khalil Ambetri in, uh, on this issue and they accepted defeat on this issue that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot tell lies and to implant, implant this suggestion is a, uh, is a blasphemy on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give us this. This is my dua to you. This is my dua to all Sunnis in the world. Oh Allah, give the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah the opportunity to understand the Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah from the Quran. Everybody say Ameen. You see, you leave it up to the ulama. You say, Let them do it. But no. Why? Because when you are in the street, when you are asked about your Iman, and then when people say to you, you do all these things which are customary against the Sunnah, you cannot justify that, therefore you must lower your gaze. Why should those people who follow the Qur'an, who follow the Sunnah, why should they lower their gaze? Those people who are opposed to the Qur'an, they should lower their gaze. We are the real Ahl Sunnah, we are the Jamaat that existed in all times uh, during the time of Rasulullah and even after. And just before I go, I'll tell you one joke. In my office, there was a group of Tabihi uh, Jamaat came for Chanda. He said, he said, let me speak. He said, uh, so uh, I came out of my office and I said, uh, why is it Chanda? I said, okay, Chanda, the better way. Just sit down a minute. So I said, Aap kis kisam ke musulman hai? So he said, ji hum dubandi hai. I said, many suna hai hadith mein. حضور علیہ السلام کا ارشاد گرامی ہے کہ کبھی کسی دیوبندی کو جندہ مت دیا جائے